I am proud to announce that Senator J.D. Vance has the overwhelming support of this convention to be the next Vice President of the United States. Okay. I have no idea who this guy is. Let's, let's go through all the takes from people, and then we'll give our thoughts. Joe Biden responds. Let's see what Joe Biden says. Here's the deal about J.D. Vance. He talks a big game about working people. But now he and Trump want to raise taxes on middle class families while pushing more tax cuts for the rich. Well, I don't intend to let them. And if you're with me, pitch in. Dave Portnoy, far faster response to Trump announcing his VP than Trump getting shot in the head. OK, I agree with this from Dave Portnoy. Vivek Ramaswamy, who I thought was a big candidate that could have potentially jumped into this race, he says, so proud of my friend, classmate and fellow Southwest Ohioan today. We used to watch Bengals games at the bar in law school. You're so relatable there. It's awesome. We're now here a decade later with J.D. joining the strongest presidential ticket in our our lifetime. He'll be an outstanding vice president, and I look forward to everything ahead for him and for our country. Tulsi Gabbard, who I also thought would be a strong pick. It appears that President Trump may have chosen J.D. Vance for his VP. If so, that is a good choice. Again, I think Tulsi is also going to play a role in this candidacy as well. Elon Musk says, resounds with victory. Not Jerome Powell. Me Googling J.D. Vance right now. Me too. Yeah, nobody knew him before this. Yeah, I agree with that. Same with Mike Pence. I had no idea who he was. The Democratic Party's social media account calls J.D. Vance an ultra-MAGA extremist who's ready to help Trump pass his Project 2025 agenda. David Sachs from the All In podcast. When the Twin Towers came down, J.D. Vance enlisted in the Marine Corps' gung-ho to exact justice on America's enemies. Subsequently, he came to believe the forever wars were a mistake. This is who I want by Trump's side, American patriot with the courage to fight America. America's wars, but the wisdom to know when to avoid them. God bless JD, God bless Trump, and God bless the USA. David Sachs is really, really lean, leaning into political stuff. I would imagine maybe he gets a position in Trump's cabinet. Tucker Carlson enthusiastically endorsed Trump's potential VP pick. J.D. Vance is the VP pick, and I think every person who pays close attention has got to be thrilled by that. Every bad person I've ever met in Washington was aligned against J.D. Vance. So this is one thing that a lot of people don't understand. So one of the things I used to do when I used to sell software to Fortune 500 companies, I used to sell to Disney, or I used to sell to Meta, I used to sell to Ticketmaster, Live Nation, Cisco, huge companies, Warner Brothers. And one of the things that you had to understand when you're, when you're doing sales, multi-million dollar sales to these Fortune 500 companies is you have to understand how to communicate language, how to influence people, how to get people as allies on your side. For example, I would have to sell a multi-million dollar deal into Warner Brothers. One of the things I'd have to do is I would have to get the director of operations on board, the director of digitals, the director of IT. There might be some like overseas European counterpart that needs to implement that system as well. So I need to buy in from there. I need the CTO, the CIO, maybe the vice president of technology. Maybe it needs the president of a particular division sign up. So you need all these people to sign up in, in, in order for me to sell the software, okay? And each person asks for a little thing. Hey man, can you give me a discount? Well, if you're gonna do that, then I wanna roll it out on, in my division first. Well, if you're gonna do it in his division first, then I wanna make sure that I have 200 extra users that could use the software and so on and so forth. So you have to make all of these deals. So at the end of the day, you're like, does this make sense? Is my vision this? And how many deals did I make with different people that's gonna, maybe going to dilute that vision? But then you got to look at it at the flip side. Well, what if I have to do something, otherwise I lose? What if there are concessions that you have to make to get the deal across the finish line? Well, there has to be a give and take kind of thing. So in all these kind of negotiations, things that are going on, there is a currency exchange that's going on, okay? So for example, Vivek or Tulsi Gabbard, some people thought it would be them that would be chosen as the VP pick, but instead it was J.D. Vance. Okay, but now they're speaking very positively about J.D. Vance as the pick. What does that mean? Do they wanna be early members of this MAGA movement that then in 2028, 2032, 2036, they're gonna have a play or, are they going to be potential replacements for J.D. Vance in that Senate seat that is now vacant?